I love to read, but sometimes I just want to be doing something different and listening to my favorite books. Something like this can also help people with disabilities because unfortunately they cannot read through those lines. And in this tutorial, I'll explain you how you can build such an application using open source technologies. Building this application will require three main libraries. Uh, the first two are uh, TTS, which um, is um, text to speech, and the second one is PyPDF, used to read the content of PDF files. So we run this in order to install um, those two libraries. After installing the libraries, what we need to do is to import those libraries. And this is done by um, using the import statement. First of all, we import operating system, which is a built-in libraries in Python. That's the reason why we didn't have to install it. And the last two are those that we have already installed. So what we're we doing here for PyPDF, PyPDF2 is to import the PDF reader module for reading the contents of the PDF files. Okay, the next step is to load the model that will be used to um, make the transcriptions from text to speech. To do that, we use the TTS uh, list models and we take the first model, which is a multi-language um, model because we want the application to read not only English document but also French documents. So we're taking the first one, multi-language, because we have multiple languages. Let's uh, look, have a look at the model languages. As you can see, we have we have a variety of models available in TTS. What we're going to do here is to take um, the first model, which is a multilingual model. So we take, since it is the first element of the list, then we take um, bracket zero here. And then printing got this should show the name of the model. After that, we will need as well to collect the document that will be used um, to make the transcription. What I did here is to take two, two documents. We have two PDFs here. The first one is a short story of Africa and this is another document but in French, Histoire Générale de l'Afrique. So what I've done is to download those two documents in a folder called Books. And in Books, I have those two um, documents here, as you can see. Afrique dans le monde, I have just provided a different name, you know, so that it's easy to understand. And also a short story, history of, of Africa, which is um, in English. So let's get back to, to work. Now that we have identified the instance of model that we want to use, we have to now extract the contents of the PDF files that would be fed to the model in order to read um, as a speech. Before doing that, let's have a look at how we extract the content of a PDF file using Py PDF2. So here what I've done is to instantiate um, the PDF file that I want to read and I use the Py, um, PDF reader module in order to read the English documents. And next step, well, let's just get the number of pages in that document. So what we do here is to um, call the attribute pages from reader, which is going to get the number of pages um, in that PDF file. And then we print the number of pages here. So let's just print the number of PDF pages that we have in that PDF file. So as you can see, we have overall 76 um, pages in the PDF file. Let's see that we want to print on um, this page number five, and this can be done by um, using um, the like reader page, and we just take um, the number five here, and English sample to get the sample of this, on documents which is about extracting um, the text from this page 5 using the extract text function and then we print on the sample of this, this document. So here we have the content of the page number 5. We have the instance of the model that we want to use 
we have also the text that we want to fed to the model now the next step is to initiate on um, the model since we already have a name so this is done by using tts uh, multi-link model so we call the tts class and we give the name of the model that we want to use and from that model we can just print on um, the languages supported by that model and as you can see here this model accepts three different languages we have english french and portuguese so let's start by creating on um, the first application that is going to read the contents of um, english books so this can be done using um, the syntax here. So what we do is to um, call the TTS dot TTS to file function. And what it does, uh, we have a text attribute, which is initialized with the text that we want to read, which um, is the sample I have shown you previously. And the speaker is with TTS that speaker and we take first element of a speaker's list and the language here since we want to use um English so we take the first parameter I mean the first element of a list which is English and the file path is the final path on file that is going to be generated an mp3 file and this is the name you can give the name that you want and in my case here, I have just provided the English version that's MP3. And after running this, after running this one, I get uh, the process is ongoing. So as you can see, the model is performing some some pre-processing here. You know, chapter three. It is breaking everything down in order to generate the mp3 file that we are interested in this has generated on um, the mp3 file that we are going to check side by side and see uh, listen to what the model has generated so let's play no until the century yet Carthage, rome the vandals byzantium North Africa in this history refers to what is now Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and Libya. In Roman times, Mauritania, the land of the Amori or Moors, coincided roughly with modern Morocco. It is not to be confused with present-day Mauritania. Right. So as you can see, we um, we managed to create an audio application that reads the contents of a PDF file. For Africa on the Moon, I have done the same process here. And let's say that I'm interested in the 11th page. This, So this is going to print the contents of the file and using the same process. So like I showed previously, the first element of the list was English and the second element is French. Then I specify one here. And the file path is French version MP3. And after running this one, I also get the French version. So here we had the English version, and here is the French version that I'm going to play. Le maintien de la paix à la suite du fiasco somalien de si de la tragédie Rouen est de dit. Néanmoins, ce désengagement apparent ne doit pas faire illusion. Les chancelleries occidentales n'ont pas renoncé à peser sur le cours des événements. Simplement, elles agissent par le truchement d'opérateurs privés, des entreprises ou des organisations non gouvernementales, en particulier dans les domaines de la diplomatie, de l'assistance technique, de l'aide humanitaire. De... All right, awesome. So we have we have um, created the audio book for both French and English, right? So what I've shown you here is to choose extract the content of a single page. And we all know that a book is made of multiple pages, right? And to solve that issue, what I've done is to implement a function. This function takes on um, one parameter, which is the name of the book. And I open the book as a book file and then apply um, 
initialize a PDF object. And here is a list that is going to contain all the pages, I mean, the textual information of all the pages. And what I do here is to iterate um, over all the pages using the get num pages function and extract the content of this page and append it to this list and I'll return here the content of all the pages. To use now the French, French version, what I'm going to do now is to call text equal readbook. I call this readbook here and the book is the book is French documents. So I give the French documents and then I just call the same function here and the text is instead of calling the French sample I give a text that I want the model to make the audio transcription. Running this will make the full um, transcription of the book into audio. So that's all. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know uh, once again in um, the comment section if there is something new that you want me to cover in my future videos. Actually, this idea comes from Afwe who asked me to um, create something like this. And like Afwe, if you are also interested in knowing more about creating, you know, such application using AI technologies. Thank you so much and bye-bye.